Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an inexpensive floating live bait bucket which can also be used as a chum bucket. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the parts I'll be using in this project. On the right you see the white five gallon food grade container and in the middle there is the black lid here and this I'll show you will snap on to the top of the bucket and then this lid unscrews and the reason I chose this lid it's a little more expensive but it'll give a better seal for this project and then also I have here your standard pool noodle any size you want to use will work and some UV or outdoor rated zip ties The first thing I decided to do was figure out what pattern of holes I wanted to drill into the bucket. Now I ended up using quarter inch drill bit, but that size is up to you depending on what size your bait is. So I wanted it to be as uniform as possible, although that's just me and it's not important as long as you have enough holes. So what I did to get a good measurement, I flipped the bucket over like this and there's these little partition sections in here that are pretty much evenly spaced until you get to where the handle is attached. So I took just a standard ruler and I set it inside one of these partitions in the bucket and I chose one inch intervals. So I just took a marker and put a dot at each inch marker and that's where I was going to make my drill holes. And when you get to here, because these aren't the right size, you kind of just have to eyeball it in there. At least that's what I did. And then in the bottom of the bucket, again, I just followed the circumference of the design here and just spaced them accordingly to make holes in the bottom of the bucket, which is important to make it sink. And on the lid here, I again followed the contour here in each of these two quarter moon sections. And then I just drilled my holes accordingly in here, and that allows the, the cap to still turn and allows air to get into the bucket as well as see if your bait is alive inside. Now when you're ready to attach your pool noodle around the bucket, what I did, and using this little section, there's a lip right here under the bucket. So if you put your noodle under there, it will keep it from slipping up too high in the bucket. So I used one of the existing holes that I drilled earlier, and then drilled a hole through this lip here, and that's where I ran my zip ties to hold this in place. So this is the finished project. You can see, although my holes aren't perfect, I thought they came out very well. And I've got my pool noodle attached here. And you can see the holes in the upper part of the lid. And as you unscrew it, you can see the holes through the bottom. So now the only thing left to do is a field test. All right, we're out here for the field test on my dock. And the one thing I did add was a tether to the handle of the bucket so that if I wanted to attach to something and leave my live bait overnight, I could. Or if you were soaking some chum, you could just leave it and not have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and toss it in and see how it goes. Gotta get to fill up some water and it'll self-right itself. 
And there you go. It's floating. Get it out a little bit further. And that's it. And you'll see how easy it is to lift because normally five gallons of water would be about 40 pounds. But because of all the holes, just let it drain. And it comes out really easy. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.